हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू अनसर्स ब्लॉग्स यूके टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सी क्रिस स्टाफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन मी हाउ यू कैन बिकम अ बस ड्राइवर व्हाट इज द प्रोसेस वो यू नीड टू बी अ अ बस ड्राइवर सो लेट्स गो टू हिज ऑफिस एंड आस्क हिम अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस ही विल एक्सप्लेन अस हाउ यू कैन बिकम अ बस ड्राइवर लाइक मी is uh, i used to be a taxi driver before the last 13 14 years i'm i'm driving a bus so the process was totally different at that time so now people ask me the questions uh, how you became a bus driver so the press will explain you uh, fully how you can apply what the process will be and how you can uh, become a, a part of our team so we came in the chris office um chris is what's your job staff right? development coach staff development coach yes. so he's developing me is like <clears> sometime <throat> right anyway uh, most people ask me how you became a bus driver okay and what what is the process and now i think uh, uh, i'm nearly 13 14 years process all changed because mm. it used to be application need to fill in yep. see someone ask questions then test and everything but nowadays obviously it's all online which nobody knows about it mm. because you go online and then they ask you different question every everybody got different <coughs> questions isn't it yeah. so if you can explain me a little bit more about uh, the process certainly well first of all the process you apply online yeah. and it's through www.firstbus.co.uk yeah it takes you through to a section called careers yeah and on there they ask you details like obviously personal things name address telephone number they look at your driving license and make yeah. sure you fit the criteria yeah. and it's about having a car license yeah. uh, you must have had it for at least i think it's now uh, at least a year yeah. and over a certain age yeah. and also convictions they look at um, yeah. convictions that are non starter is you've had a conviction of using a mobile phone while driving yeah. that is an instant ban yeah. also things that seriously that like drink driving yeah. reckless driving Yeah. If um your license acceptable, yeah. It would go through the human resources department in Leeds and they keep if you like a bank of the people who recently applied yeah. which they try to clear as soon as possible. Yeah. That is then sent to the depots which the person either chooses a preference to work at or as nearest to where they live. And we then look to see who we can interview yeah. in the times that suit that customer. Yeah. Then they come into me or they come into Andy who's the instructor. Yeah. And first we carry out a statutory drugs and alcohol test yeah. uh, which we get an instant result for yeah. and if that's okay what we do then is to go through an interview and some form filling yeah. uh, and the interview is basically about we put a few scenarios yeah. what would you do in this situation how do you respond to that yeah. what's your level of customer service skill like yeah. have you handled money before that yeah. sort of thing yeah. and then we'll ask you to bring any forms with you which are relevant to your identity like driving license we want proof of identity and right to work documents which yeah. is usually the form of your driving license a passport Parcel. if you have one a birth certificate yeah. and an original copy of something that shows your national insurance number to show you've got a right to work and pay income tax in this country yeah. if you're successful at those stages of the interview we take out for driving assessment which is either in a minibus if you've got a car license yeah. or a full size bus if you're a bus license holder yeah. Um what we do then we have to give the results to the operations manager who will yeah. decide looking at all the information if you're an acceptable candidate and then he will let you know in a few days time. Yeah. The next stage is a medical which he will organize with the person who's applied. Yeah. Medicals have a Bramley depot. Bramley, yeah. And they look at uh, your license application, they make sure you're fit to drive. things like diabetes blood pressure heart conditions yeah. uh, mental issues they yeah. will ask about the check your weight the check your height yeah. should that be all be successful yeah. the the operation manager will then offer you a provisional place in driving school right. which depending on how Sorry, uh, provisional yes. uh, do like previous days we never apply for the provisional license for both isn't it We do. No. We apply for that at the medical. So the medical satisfactory, the doctor yeah. will stamp your license application, send it off. Yeah. When I say it's a provisional offer in driving school, it's because yeah. um, the job is not confirmed until you've yeah. passed all the necessary driving tests. That's correct. Yeah. So you go over to driving school either at Halifax or if we find we're full here, because we only take a couple of people at a yeah. time. Yeah. You go to our training school in Bramley and Leeds. Leeds. Yeah. You be there for probably a month. Yeah. And during that time, you do your driving practice in a big bus. Yeah. You would. 
would do your um, theory test, yes. your hazard perception test, yep. your case modules, yep. um, your theory test, your CPC test, test at yep. the end, which is a week's worth of classroom tuition in its own. Yep. And at the end of that, should be successful with all those, yep. um, you will then be passed over to either me or my team of mentors to show yep. you Halifax bus station. We teach you routes, we teach you ticket machine, customer service, health and safety, yep. bus station procedures and such like. But um, what we say is we pay people a salary from the day they enter driving school, yep. but the job's only confirmed once you've passed, passed all the, the driving all the, tests. Yep. And our discretion, we will give you up to two attempts at each test, providing you put the work in. Right. So for instance, if someone comes for a theory test and they fail miserably, about 5% score, yep. then it's obvious they've not done the homework, yep. and if it's not likely they will pass a second, second attempt, time we could say, I'm sorry that that's the end of the line. Yeah, yeah. But if someone shows promise and they're putting the work in and say they fail the test by a minor thing yeah. or they say bump a curb on the yeah. driving test, yeah. we would say, look, you're showing promise, you've done the work, yeah. we will fix what's necessary. Like yeah. if you've had a driving error, we will work hard on that to help you overcome that driving error. We'll give you a mock test again to make sure you've overcome the error that you failed on. Yeah. And then at our discretion, we give you another attempt at the driving test. That's great. We pay for all that. Yep. Yeah because obviously you're an asset to the company. Yep. Once you're fully accepted and you come into here, you'll be with the mentors for about three to four weeks learning all the routes. Learning all the routes, yeah. Once you're driving what we call driving solo, which yep. is driving your own collecting fares, yep. your salary goes up a little bit, yep. but then we start collecting your training expenses back right. because it yep. costs money for us to train it's, people. It used to be like about £10. Uh, it still is. It's 10 is it? for two years. Okay. Yeah. If you stay for the whole two years, you yes. get it all back as a bonus. Yep. If you leave within two years, we have the balance of payments back yep. to cover our costs. Because in the past, we had people come to us, they pass a test, and, and straight they've gone left for the, to work their dad's coach company yeah, yeah. because he doesn't do driving tests, yeah, yeah, yeah. which means it costs us money. Yeah. And that's basic procedure. Once you've done all that and you're driving solo, we have what's called driver through care system, where on a regular basis you have interviews with the staff manager to make sure that you're doing all right, yeah. make sure you're happy with the job, answer any questions you've got. Yeah. And also, I would come and have a ride on assessment with your driving skills on the bus uh, at one month, three, six, nine and 12 months okay. and after 12 months should you be satisfactory you'd be signed off on the through care scheme yep. and then you'll be fully on your own with just routine assessments right so that's the procedure that's to the become procedure a now. Yep. first bus driver yep like me <laughs> so yeah yeah it's interesting uh, like obviously it's, it's changed a lot since it has because um, I, I think we qualified so. about the same time didn't yeah, we yeah 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 so yeah uh, nice talking to you and I think it's more than enough inf information for the customers who want to be a bus driver yeah. like <coughs> me and you. Thank you, And uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you again. And uh, I explain this in our own language in uh, the next next bit of video. And yeah. if your friend wishes to apply, I wish yeah. him all the best. Thank or you. Or her all thank the you. best. <laughs> it's him. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you.